All right, so now we got to find Ramon. The case of the missing servant. Comb St. Mastia for clues about Ramon's disappearance. Yep, of course we're going to save. I'm known for aggressively saving. We finally got a puzzle that we didn't solve. I'm hot about that. I'm hot about that, by the way. All right, let's investigate here a little bit. Hmm? Hey, it's a painting or a picture. Look at this picture. What is it, Professor? Oh, oh, wrong voice. Oh, is it that Lady Dahlia? She's holding a baby. That baby must be Baron Reinhold's daughter then. Four was her name, wasn't it? Gosh, what a cute baby. Lady Dahlia hasn't changed much, has she? You know, Luke, they say true beauty never ages. This professor, y'all. Professor Layton be, be playing it. I suppose so, Professor. But even so, it makes me wonder. Maybe we can ask Lady Dahlia about it. All right. Let's ask Lady Dahlia about it. I need to find some hint coins. There we go. Some hint coins before we get up out of here. Because uh, we're very low on hint coins. All right. I think that. There we go. That must be everything for this room. Let's bounce. Let's be out. All right, let's talk to Lady Dolly. Oh, Chimley's back. How lovely. Pardon me, but we happened upon an adorable picture of you and your daughter, Flora, a moment ago. I beg your pardon. The picture of you holding a baby, the one that sits in the next room. I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never had any children. Huh? My apologies, madam. I must have been mistaken. At any rate, this time is of the essence here. Go find Ramon and bring him back, would you? If that's not Lady Dolly in the photograph, then who on earth could it be? I think we do well to ask the butler a few questions. Perhaps he can clear this up for us. All right, we'll have to find the butler after we talk to Chemley here. By the way, Mr. Layton, I hear you're something of a puzzle connoisseur. This puzzle was popular in London when I left. Oh, my God. He gave us a puzzle. I wonder if you have what it takes to solve it. Puzzle 29. The five suspects. Oh, just go be good. It's worth 20 picarats. Oh, this is already pretty dope looking. Five suspects are called into police headquarters for questioning. They give the following statements. Hmm. A says one of us five is lying. B says two of us five is lying. C says I know these guys and three of us five, uh, the five of us are lying. D says don't listen to a word they say. Out of the five of us, four are lying. And E says all five of us are dirty, rotten liars. The police only want to release the suspects who are telling the truth. How many people should they let go? Oh, oh, this one's fun. I like this one. Okay. So A says one of us five is lying. And the police only want to release the suspects who are telling the truth. So if A is telling the truth, only one is lying. So four get released. Hang on, I already see I need to take notes. I still got the new car from last stream. Let's see, what's going on, Carlos? Uh, Carlos S. This game's incredible. Uh, I've, I've never played the entire game, or I've never played the game at all before, really. I played part of it on stream. I, I'm about two and a half hours in, so I'm experiencing this for the first time. I've actually never played a real Professor Layton game at all. One of us five is lying, says A. If A is telling the truth, then only one of the five is lying, so the police want to release four. Man, I said this is going to be fun. It is, but it's kind of confusing. A says one of us five is lying. I feel like the only way A can know that is if he is lying. And he knows that everyone else is telling the truth. So four would get released. B says two of the five are lying. 
So that would mean three get released. Oh, oh, I see it now. I see it now. Okay. Okay, here go. Oh, I need to I need to draw something out. I see where it is now. I, I need to draw something out or else I'm never gonna be able to make sense of this. And then let me see, I'm gonna draw five boxes. I I, I just wrote down A, B, C, D, E going up and down. And then I'm putting five boxes next to each letter so that I can mark off how many people are lying and telling the truth. Cause I already see how it wants me to think this one out. Give me, give me just a second. I like this puzzle solving music, to be honest. It's really simple, but it gets the idea across that you need to be thinking. Okay, so here's what I've drawn out so far. Uh, you should be able to see it pretty well. Like I said, my camera is flipped over. Uh, it, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, let's see. So A says one of the five is lying. One of the five is lying. So if you're lying, you're not telling the truth. If you're not lying, you are telling the truth. So A says one of the five is lying. And the police only want to let four go. He, they only want to release the suspects who are telling the truth. So that would mean for in the case of A telling the truth, one of them stays and the other four have to go. Four will be leaving. So anyone that's not lying is telling the truth. If A is telling the truth, huh? Give me a second. I had it when I got to B. Let me start at B. B says two are telling the truth. I'm sorry, two are lying. So that means if two are lying, three are telling the truth. If B's telling the truth, he's one of them. That would mean two more are telling the truth. Man. That would mean two more are telling the truth. Is it possible for two more to be telling the truth? No. Uh, A. A could be telling the truth. Oh, no. If B's telling the truth. Oh, I'm looking at B. So one more is telling the truth. And now I mean three are lying. Would it be two? The, the two would be B and C. Let me see. Hang on. Let me make another note. At the end of B's line, I wrote B and C. So if B's telling the truth that two are lying. Oh, no, no. That means three are telling the truth. So then what I just thought would happen for C. If C's telling the truth. That means three are lying, two are telling the truth. One of them would be C. Oh, man, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost in my own note taking here. Three are lying, two are telling the truth. C would be telling the truth. We know that E... We know for a fact E isn't right, right? Because if E's telling the truth, all five are liars. That means all of them are lying, including E. So that would mean all five are telling the truth. And that can't happen if E is saying all five are liars. Okay, so it's not E. It's not E. We can cross E off the list. So at the very least, one of them is lying. D says, don't listen to a word they say. Out of four, out of five of us, four are lying. So if that's the case, yes, we know A's lying. Do they let D go? They only let one person go? They let D go? Because that would mean that everyone else is lying. I think that's what I want to go. How many people should they let go? What, what, do I draw it? 
Oh, uh, input answer. I think one. I think one person should be let go, and that's D. Luke, here's my answer. Did it. <laughs> Critical thinking is the key to success. Did it. That's right. Every suspect accused a different number of people. If anyone was telling the truth, it had to be one no more or one suspect, no more or less. The only suspect whose sus uh, whose statement fits that condition is D. Got it. Hey, <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. That was fun. That was fun. I'm glad I didn't waste the hint coin. Huh? I suppose I should have given you a tougher puzzle to solve. You do best to use that brain to find. The golden apple everyone is a bug about. I found another strange gizmo. All right. Let's take a look at the gizmos that we have already. Uh, the gizmos you've gathered around St. Mysterio are all lined up on the touch screen. Tap one to snap into place. Just what you are, are you constructing, you ask? That's the secret. It's a dog. <laughs> it's a dog. These look like feet. Oh. Oh, I just click it. I don't have to put them where they need to be. Okay. Dope. Dope. He said he hated Chimley. I like Chimley in Leighton versus Wright. I'm I'm not familiar with him. Like I said, I've I've never really played the game. But as as someone coming from the Ace Attorney side looking at Leighton characters, I like Chimley. I like them. He was, he, was, he was a clown. They're all clowns, but he was a bigger clown. All right, let's go find Ramon. We need to find Ramon. He's somewhere here in the in the town. And we also need to talk to Matthew here. Ah, Matthew, do you have a moment? Certainly, sir. How can I help you? It's about the picture of Lady Dahlia upstairs, the one of her holding a small child. Oh, yes, about that old picture. That's not Lady Dolly, I'm afraid. It's a picture of Baron Reinhold's former wife. But I certainly understand why you would mistake one for the other. They were virtually identical in their appearance, their gesture, and even the way they moved. So that photo isn't of Lady Dahlia, but of an earlier wife of the Baron. Oh, wow. Imagine finding someone who looks that much like you. What are the odds? They're going to be twins. Watch. <laughs> They're going to end up being twins, the former wife and the current wife. Is there a chance that two, the two were relatives of one another? I've never heard anything to suggest as much, sir. It just happened one day. The Baron arrived home, and I decided it was Lady Dahlia. I'm sorry to say that's all I really know about the matter. Either they're twins or um, she she's suffering from memory loss and she doesn't remember that picture. It, it's one of those two. It's one of those two. Not at all. You've been most helpful. Thank you, Matthew. How odd. The more I hear, the stranger the whole affair starts to sound. Lady Dahlia is on our, li our list of mysteries. I see you, Leighton. <laughs> He's going to go investigate. I see you. All right, let's go find Ramon. Here's that damn cat again. Watch the cat say, meow, meow, meow. I've got a puzzle, just like everybody else. Oh, she's got glasses. Hmm. These are, oh, they're Ramon's glasses. Oh no, they're Simon's glasses. <laughs> they're Simon's glasses. But how on earth did they end up here? This could be a key in the investigation. I think it's best if we brought this to Inspector Chimley. All right, let's head right back in and Never mind. What's the matter, Mr. Layton? Inspector, please take a look at these. These glasses belong to Simon. We found them out in the garden. What the? Hmm. I imagine they simply fell off the body when it was being carried out of the village. Besides, if you have enough time to manage the village lost and found, shouldn't you be searching for the right old inheritance or whatever it is you're supposed to be doing? <laughs> of course, 
If you continue to interrupt my investigation, I have some ideas about what you can do. My sincerest apologies, Inspector. I don't like that chimney one bit. He reeks of smoke and is so full of himself. And the way he treats you, Professor, it's just too much. Luke, my boy, pay it no mind. Right now we have other priorities. Let's go ask around town and find Ramon. Alright. Now we're making moves. The investigation. <laughs> uh, this woman. This woman was in that painting, wasn't she? Or the picture. Why do I keep calling her painting? She was in that picture, I believe. Look at you fretting away there. Whatever's the matter. Sorry to trouble you, but did you see Ramon around here today? He was here until just a little while ago. No, I can't say I've seen him today, which is strange considering how often he sneaks off the job. But enough of that. I have a puzzle for you. I hear you. See? Look at this. Look at this nonsense. <laughs> I hear you're quite an ace with puzzles. Would you mind helping me out with a puzzle I've been mulling over? Oh, right now? We're sort of in the middle of a... Of something right now. That was weird. But if you insist. Puzzle puzzle 202 is worth a million picarats. It's, it's really number 30 and it's worth 30. Here we go. Okay. So you've heard of one line puzzles. The idea is to place your pen to paper and draw a shape without lifting your pen from the pad or retracting any part of the line. You can, however, cross lines. Uh, now that you're familiar with the concept, look at the four puzzles pictures below. One of them cannot be drawn with one line. Which one is it? There's actually a really mathematical way of going about this. Um, what you can do is you can look at every point that there is, every point that exists within each puzzle. By point, I mean either you make a turn or there's an intersection. Um, and you count how many different directions the lines go in. As long as they're all even, it should be able to be made with just one line. And if they're all multiples of four, there's more than one way of drawing it with one line. But all you need is two. So off rip, what I want to say is the third one is the one that can't be drawn with one line. This, this one that's shaped like a house. Now, it's not, that doesn't necessarily have to be true. Because I can start from this point. This corner right here. I can start here and then have this line or this motion be part of the line and finish it. But I think it's this one because this corner here has three. There's nothing with five. It looks like. Oh, sorry. There is one with five. It might be. It might be this one. One. Let's see. Yeah, it actually is this puzzle. Let me make sure, because if I go down here, let's see, can I, am I allowed to, okay, I have to redraw, I have to draw a circle around, so I can't draw it physically here. If we go here, go down, I can come up here, no, it's not possible, actually, it might be, I can go this way, up here, nope, it's not possible, because I end up. Ooh, wait a second. It is possible. I just did it in one shot. No, it's not. Because I either have to get this one or get this one. That's the easy way to check. It can be done with only one odd number. And then you have to start there. And along the way, come back over there if it's not one. But if there's more than one odd number, there's a very good chance that one can't be done. I only have to look at the other ones. Eh, let's look at the other ones. That's not the mathematical way to do things, chill. Let's see. One can't be drawn with one line. For this, for the top left, I can go here. Actually, no, this is easily done with one line. I'm doing it now. <laughs> this is easily done with one line. Okay, so it's clearly not that one. This one has one here. We can go. Wait. I lost myself in there. There's too many lies for me. Let's see. And go here. Then we can go this way. 
Yeah, this one can be done with one line. I'm trying to figure out where to start here. I think this is a good place. Yeah, and this could be done one line. Is this one? That should do it. Yeah, I knew that one. I knew that one. My my math, my math history <laughs> helped me with that one before it even started. It's actually a very easy way, very easy way to tell whether or not a picture has been given, or, or been drawn in one stroke. This method will, will reveal to you after you solve one more of these riddles. Okay. <laughs> oh, and man, I solved each one exactly how they wanted me to. That's dope. Yeah, the shortcut for puzzles like this is figure out how many points come out of each vertex. That's the, that's the mathematical language for it. Find out how many points come out of each vertex. If there's ever a point, if there's more than one point that has an odd number there's a very good chance that puzzle can't be solved or can't be done with one line or that drawing can't be done with one line that's some fine work there i was stuck on this puzzle for i don't know how long ah you there boy i just had a terrible vision of you running into trouble tonight so be careful out there all right well that was a welcome piece of news but don't worry about me because i don't scare easily and we got yet another strange gizmo all right, let's move. Oh, look at this man. Look at this guy. He's back. He's got a puzzle for us. Watch. Hey, you two. What are you up to? Let me in on the secret. Where did my game go? There we go. Oh, I got it. I got it. Don't tell me. I told you I got it. What's keep happening? I was searching for somebody, huh? Hitting the streets for info, yeah? But sorry, I haven't seen your man. Are you sure you didn't see or hear anything that might help us? No, no, I got nothing for you. Quit asking me about it. Sheesh. I see. Well, in any case, thank you for your time. Oh, yeah, and good luck with your crazy search. Two crazy kids on a crazy search, right? Right. Ah, uh, but definitely do not go poking around the tower on the north side of town. Got it? Yeah, you got it. The tower on the north side of town? How do you even get to that part of town? Do you remember that clock tower in the square? I believe we must pass through it to get to the north side of town. Let's go check it out. They immediately said, don't. That's the first thing they told us, don't. <laughs> Guess what we're gonna go do? Just that. Uh, hang on. Uh, there shouldn't be any more coins. Oops, did not mean to come back into this place. There shouldn't be any more coins anywhere here though we've already found several heart uh hint coins that's fine that's the clock tower you were talking about right professor yes quite right hmm someone's standing under the entrance is it uh, this man do we talk to him already i think we did because i remember thinking about his face Hey there, you've been pretty busy solving puzzles, yeah? If you want to pass through here, you need to have solved at least 12 puzzles first. Didn't see that one coming, honestly. I, I didn't expect there to be a limit on how many puzzles, or a minimum on how many puzzles. Luckily, we, we saw 15 before we started today, so we're good. Well, looks like you've already done that. Hmm. Well, I guess I just lied to you then. If you really want to pass through here, you're also going to have to solve one more puzzle. Number 35, strange dots. Oh, hell no. Nah. Not another dot puzzle. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. <sighs> the dice below look normal enough, but if you look carefully, you should see a pattern start to emerge. You know the following. A equals zero. B equals nine. C equals six. So what does D correspond to? If I look carefully, I should see a pattern emerge. Oh, I see it. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, clock. These are clocks. These are clocks. The dots show where the hands end up pointing on the clock. Or the minute hand, to be specific. So for A, for A, the minute hand ends up pointing up. It will be pointing at 12, but the last number on the clock, if the minute hand is pointing up, is zero. Oh, no. I've goofed. I've merged, like, two different things together now. Because this one here would be, I get, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Hang on. Let me, let me stamp this out. I guess like a stopwatch or something. These should be three. These should be three. This hand's pointing at the nine on the clock. This hand's pointing at the six. But then this one should be pointing at the 12. So is this not three? It should be pointing at 12, not zero. So is this not three? I want to say three. I want to say it's three. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Fight me, Professor Layton. Or fight me, Deke. It's weird that they said zero. I feel like that was the explanation. It's just weird that they said zero. Yeah. Analog clock. But then why is this shouldn't be zero? This should be 12. <laughs> it should be 12. Like, I get what they were going for. It's just weird. Is, is the minute hand broken off? Is it not pointing at anything? <laughs> Got it. Way to go. You've earned it, mister, so come on through. Are you still after that scary cat? We are looking for one of the Reinhold's employees now. He's a man by the name of Ramon. You haven't seen him about, have you? Ramon, huh? Mm, yeah, I think I might have. Oh, gosh, where did I see that guy? Hmm, maybe you're better off asking someone else. Go ask Lucy. She's standing under the clock tower. We got yet another strange gizmo. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.